all right hey guys welcome back to the channel we got something going on today uh with the three-wheeler project we're gonna build an all brand new seat so we've got a brand new fiberglass seat pan brand new seat foam and a brand new seat cover uh the factory seat pan was steel on this model but this is a reproduction one this is all reproduction and uh we're gonna put all this together and in the end we'll have a brand new seat for the three-wheeler right over there that we're keeping undercover uh we haven't been posting very many well we've i think we've only done one video on this so far but there's a lot going on a lot done and uh you guys are gonna see it kind of more all at once but I figured this would be kind of cool just to see the process of putting the whole seat together for this thing. And uh, we'll put that out there. And uh, if you guys want to see more, let us know. We didn't make very many individual videos on this thing because there wasn't a whole lot of interest in the first powder coating of the frame. And uh, it's a 90, ATC 90, so it's not really a very popular three-wheeler people rebuild. But this thing is looking sick. And... Uh, we're excited to get it out so make sure you like subscribe and uh check out some of our other builds if you're into that kind of thing but other than that let's get into this seat mm -hmm. so the first thing we got to do with this is the seat foam here we have to glue it to the pan to get started um a couple things this fiberglass generally you don't staple into fiberglass but this specifically says when we bought it that it's easy to staple to so the plan is to staple this just like a normal seat with a plastic pan but before we can do that we've got the 3m contact adhesive so we're going to spray this down spray the back of the foam down and it might take some string or tape or something just pull this down tight so that the there's no gaps or anything under it and we're going to attach these two together and then we can start stapling a cover on so i don't want to get this shit all over i'm going to get that seat cover out of the way i think i'm going to use this uh this plastic here to kind of control my spray on this shit. I don't want to get it all over the top. You know what? I'm actually just going to get a garbage bag out. Alright, so now we got our operating table all set up here. So this is, you got to, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you're using this contact adhesive, you got to put it on both sides. So. I'm just going to try not to get any glue underneath of this thing. Just coat it good. Now I gotta do this one too. And try not to get it on the outside where the actual cover sits. This shit is messy. This is not our first seat that we've redone. Go check out the uh, the video for the seat for Christie's uh, KTM build. We did a pretty cool seat cover on that thing too if you haven't seen it. Uh, so now you just let this sit for a couple seconds, let it tack up, and then as soon as you put these together, they stick, they're done. All right, it's been a couple seconds, been about 30 seconds. So now as soon as I put this down, it's going to be pretty much permanent. Ah. 
Grab that. There we go. Super sticky. So I'm trying to get this. Go ahead and just pull that off now. So now we got, I don't want to get glue over the top of this, so. And I didn't realize I messed up and I glued right here, which that's fine. That's gonna, see it's not even sticky on my hand. But you can see when I push this together now, where I've got glue on both sides, it stays. And I think we're good. So we're just gonna let this dry up and then we can start stapling a seat on. All right, so here's the seat cover. It's actually kind of nice. It's got like kind of po or kind of uh, padded on it where they stitched it. This is the ATC 110 79 to 82. Uh, so this is a 78 ATC 90 we're doing, but we've got, we're putting ATC 110 plastics on it, seat and everything, we kind of converted it over because you can actually find all that shit brand new and in plastic instead of fiberglass. So they all fit on the same exact frame. But we're doing this. This is our staple strip. Uh, we're gonna fit it over and we always go like one, get your front set and staple it. We'll do that first. We've cleaned the table and stuff because we don't wanna get this all stained up. It shouldn't stain it, better not. It actually fits on here pretty snug too. Sucker on here. So now you can kind of see where the uh, where the seam falls. Get up here, kind of close, Crystal. If you look like the stitching seam, that's made to wrap right there, and that's what we're going for. And then we'll just staple this down, and we're gonna try to leave it so that the seam. You see this nice sewn edge right on the edge of the seat all the way around but to get it started what we do is you want to get this all centered up that's what i'm trying to do now and then get your front pulled down tight and then we'll pull the back and that kind of sets your distance as far as the uh the tension front to back and then slowly we'll just start working the sides big chunk by big chunk until it gets smaller and smaller so right there is where we want that to fall the fiberglass is right here at the edge of that so we're about to see if this actually staples and use the freaking air stapler don't try to do this by hand because this takes a lot of staples Let's hope. Piece of cake. So that's one set. So we're just going to do one. And now, you see that sets our center. Now we'll turn it around. That looks pretty good. And this feels like it could pull tighter. And I actually am going to pull that tighter. Because we do not want a loose seat cover. And now I'll put one down in there. Some of this gets kind of hard to get to. Good and good. So, that's started. And you see, like, it's still pretty saggy all around. Now what we want to do is go about halfway up. And this is where the seat cover will really start tightening up. Let's go down here closer to my staple bed. Pull this up. Try to get that seam right there. Looks pretty good. I'll do this side. And what I'm really looking for is I'm looking for this seam to be the same on both sides. Looks good. 
now, let's just check it. Looking better. But, right now, I do not like all that gap. So, what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna pull these two staples out. I'm not happy with that. And originally I wanted this seam showing. Well, now we're gonna hide it because I'm more worried about the seat cover being tight than I am about seeing that seam. So I just grab a flat screwdriver and pop those out. So now we can see what it does to that fiberglass. But it's in there strong. Wow. Come on. There we go. Why'd that seem so much easier? Get this other one out. That one didn't even go in very well. All right, so with that in mind, now I'm gonna kind of see, if we're not trying to get that seam on the edge, we can pull it a lot tighter. More like wrapping it under like that. And I, I'm feeling the top with my fingers on the, on the other side. And the seat cover is much tighter like that. I don't want to keep taking staples in and out, so I'm going to go with that. Seems good. And whatever I do, I'm just trying to match it on the other side. Now, looks better. It'll, it'll keep tightening up, I think. So now I'm just gonna start working on bigger gaps. Like I said, some of these spots are hard to get to. There we go. Turn this around. So you can kind of see how it's starting to stretch out here. And a lot of these the, you're seeing are from it being folded up in a package for so long. So I'm just gonna keep doing this and uh, maybe we'll time lapse or something because this gets pretty boring. But this is gonna be a, a bunch of staples here. So it's going to get tighter and tighter, get these wrinkles out, but here's the seat. And now the nice thing about these uh, three wheelers, these actually bolt down to the fenders. So if you look over here, let me actually scoot this over out of the way a bit. A little sneak peek at the new fenders. And you see this ridge right here. That's where all of this will tuck down. 
So that's how it actually looks. Seat gun. And then the seat brackets bolt on underneath. So this is ready to bolt some seat brackets on and rear fenders are done. So that's the quick way to show you guys how to recover, well not just recover, seat foam, everything. And now our seat's done. So if you like this video, let us know. Uh, comment whatever you want. If there's anything on this three-wheeler build you want to see specifically, let us know. And make sure to like and subscribe to see the finished product coming soon. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. See you later.